to go over the kind of the UV mapping. Last time we did this on how to do it in Maya, how to lay it out all flat and also how to export it out into Photoshop. So you have basically this perfect square. It should be one to one ratio no matter what. I think we did a 4K, 496 or something like that. So it's a pretty high, high resolution. So when we project this back on there, we won't have the image pixelated. Um, and we can go even bigger. We can go to 8K. That's not out of the ordinary for uh, a model, since this is kind of the only thing that we're modeling in Maya. So really quickly, I'm just going to pull up uh, an image here. Uh, this is one of the students' uh, work, and I'm just going to place it in here. And you can see uh, really quickly how uh, small that is uh, ratio-wise. Um, so you can see the 4K is pretty big. So 4K is pretty uh, monumental. So what I'm going to do here is just kind of go down. This is on its own layer. I'm going to knock this opacity down. You can use a slider with an alt, or I'm just going to do it by hand. All right. So basically, you just want to start taking your uh, image that you've drawn and start to try to see if you can get it to fit into this uh, environment. All right. So you know this could be widened. The dunny face is quite uh, wide. Uh, you know, you can use a, a command key to grab a, a corner to make it wider. Uh, it doesn't have to be in scale. So I'm just going to kind of make this a broader face, not to say uh, the shape is wrong. I'm just trying to get it to fit within here. All right. So I'm just going to hit that. I'm going to go back up to my 50 to 100%. Okay, so the rest of the character, I just want this gray. So uh, if you've ever used uh, uh, Photoshop, I'm just going to use a, a color picker right here, and it's going to give me this gray right here. So really quickly, I'm just going to develop another layer. Let's pull this over so we can see uh, our layer is going to be very similar to uh, Maya. New layer. Hopefully everyone has done this, and we can also lock this if you want. Uh, which is probably a good idea. Uh, I think we go right click and lock, or you guys probably know this better than I do. It's right there. Hello. And we'll go back to our layer here. I'm going to go and use my brush, and we have a tiny little brush you can see here, but I'm going to go pretty large on this. Again, this is just kind of uh, paint the rest of the face out. We don't want any of these other features because we're projecting that on there. Uh, so we have this brush size, and I'm just going to go wicked big with it. Um, that's not wicked big. Let's go even bigger. All right. So again, we're in uh, basically 4K, so uh, it's pretty big. So I'm just going to go in here. I'm doing a horrible job. I don't have a tablet. This is where some of you may want to uh, just check out for the class uh, a Wicom tablet. Uh, for long term, definitely buy one. All right, so all I'm doing is I'm going to get maybe a uh, different brush. There's different general brushes, and I'm going to do a hard round so we, I can just kind of uh, kind of emphasize that this is a mask. And again, I'm doing this really quickly and horribly. Uh, I'm sure I'm doing it to ah, Command Z. I'm just going to do it really quick again, just kind of getting rid of all those details. We just kind of really just want this face to kind of hover onto it. All right, for the rest of it, I'm just going to uh, marquee this and use the uh, dumping tool, uh, the paint bucket. So you click on here, and we're going to go to the paint bucket. Hopefully, I can find it really quickly. Dump it, and we'll do a couple more of these. And we're going to do another dump. Uh, and also, we can just go. We can just use our, our brush here since it's acting a little weird. So, Command D to deselect it, and really quickly, just going to paint the rest of it since it's acting weird here. Uh, all right. So, anyways, we just did the face here. A lot of you have full body uh, drawings, but you can see how quickly you can do uh, the full body here. So, really quickly, I'm just going to save that. Save as. Save as a JPEG. You can save as a PSD because you'll want to get back into the layers. So um, PSD save. And I'm going to save as a JPEG real quickly. Or PNG is great too because PNGs can do alpha channels if we have alpha channels. But right now I'm just going to do a JPEG. Uh, let's not replace that uh, shot. 
Um, good. All right. And we've got a cheat pack. All right. So quickly, the rest of the body on the Danny is going to be gray. And basically, this is going to be sitting right on that face. So let's go ahead and get into Maya. And hopefully this works. So we're going to go in here, object mode, and we're going to go and add a new uh, texture on it. So we're going to go to rendering. And why don't we, we we're going to put a specific uh, texture on there because this is a default uh, gray. And so we're going to go into uh, Our, not our toolkit, we're trying to get into the attribute editor. And I keep grabbing the wrong one. All right, here we go. So if we go to the very end, and you can see we probably need to probably delete history. Let's do that real quick. Edit, uh, delete by type, history. And we'll get down to our Lambert. We can call it Dunny. So if you're doing a huge scene with hundreds of things, you'll need to, uh, and I can't seem to type here, all right. So we'll just leave it as Lambert. And we're just gonna go in and bring in our file. Go to a uh, little folder here, desktop. And we're gonna go down here to uh, whatever folder I just made, example Dunny. All right, so we got that good shot right here. All right, so it, it is projecting on there and you're like, well, it's not showing up. So we got four. Uh, four is wireframe, five is shaded, and six is uh, the image that you have on there. All right, so our face is pretty big on here. Uh, there's one of two ways that we can fix it. We can actually go in here into Photoshop and make it smaller, or we can go in here, kind of uh, showcase what we have. We can go here on the image and see that, or checkerboard, We're gonna go to, or you can turn them all off. We're gonna go in here, and we can go to uh, UV shell, I can select that and I can hit R and I can squeeze that up and I can manipulate it and in that way. So you can see some of this stuff is going to start splitting off. Uh, so uh, just be careful what you're doing. Just make sure that doesn't override other uh, forms here. All right. So that is it. Basically, that's kind of the idea of how to get this image onto Dunny. Let's see if the face is on the back. No, it's not. That's a good sign. So we're almost done here. It can be very, very simple graphics here. Some of you have some really amazing graphics, and I did a really horrible job cutting this quickly. But I want to show you how quickly you can get your image that you've drawn onto here and get it more vector-based. Uh, you can see on here it is very uh, pixelated. Uh, if we did that in Illustrator, it'd be a little bit finer uh, line work. Uh, one last thing, we did uh, delete uh, this type of history. Probably the next tutorial, probably next week on Monday, we will just set up a real quick lighting scheme and uh, render it out so you'll learn how to do Arnold or whatever we have here in the DOS lab. So really quickly, we are in one and three mode. So uh, probably safe to say, uh, Make sure you do an increment save, but we will probably go into near the end before we start rendering it. We will go into mesh and hit uh, smooth. We're going to actually go up the ladder uh, with the polygon count. This is after we've done this. We're going to go ahead and hit smooth. All right, so you can see the UV stays the same. It's just getting a little bit more complicated uh, with the mesh. So when we do the final, final, and this is after several. Uh, uh, increment saves, we're going to get it really super smooth. So we can get into the one mode and this is super smooth. All right, so we don't have to hit three into our subdivisional, which we can, but we'll definitely keep it as one. All right, so that's kind of really simple. I don't want you guys to go too far. Basically over the weekend, you guys are just gonna keep working on this and not push it any further then this level, just kind of take your drawings and give it a little bit of life, vectorize it. If you're not comfortable with that, just take it within Photoshop and enjoy. All right, good luck on this.